with like three lines you could send uh, 16 bits of data. So this is a shift register example that I just used the Arduino examples uh, from. I put a, a zip socket in there. That's where the uh, FM chip was going to go. And these lights will tell me uh, if I'm streaming the data out correctly. The order matters. You put them in reverse. Um, so these are the shift registers. This is the PSG chip. It sends the data out to this shift register. It fills uh, eight bits here. And then once this is filled, it sends eight bits to there. And then it sends another like latch command to tell it to send it out all at once. Which means it's going to send the byte, one byte to the PSG chip and one byte to the FM chip. This is where the FM chip is going to go. Um, that brings me to the next step, getting the FM chip. And to do that, I had to take one out of a real Genesis. So this is the Genesis I took the P, uh, FM chip out of. I had to desolder it. This is a picture of all the steps that I uh, went through to get it. I bought a used Sega Genesis for like $30. Took it apart. Very painful to do. It was, it was a nice system. Took it all the parts. You can see that's the cartridge port. That's the 68K uh, CPU. This is the chip I needed. All these are like memory chips. So I located it, I desoldered it, I have it in my hand, now straight to the breadboard. Now the, the FM chip works uh, almost the same way as the PSG chip does, and it means you could, you could get sound out of it by writing bytes to it. What those bytes do, uh, if you read the documentation, they're different register writes. Um, like we'll take a look at the pinout again. These values D0 through D7, that's where the, the bytes are going to go. And there are other pins that tell you which part of the registers you can write into. Uh, this chip also has an integrated audio mixer, which was convenient. It has stereo out. These are two stereo outs. And uh, these four pins tell, you, tell the chip that it's ready to receive data. If it uh, gives a status, if it's ready to receive the next set. This is what a VGM file looks like. Remember the, those hex commands that we needed to send those bytes out to the pins? So now that I know how to send bytes to the uh, IC chips, it's just a matter of uh, parsing through this file. If I encounter a command, like 50 is a command to send a, the, the next byte to the PSG chip. 52 would be uh, a command to send a byte to the FM chip, so on and so forth. What those bytes mean you could read the documentation and tell yourself understanding how uh, the channel uh, addresses, but uh, you just pump it the data. A little overview of how it works. I keep the e uh, VGM data in this EEPROM, takes it one byte at a time through the Arduino. The Arduino sends it out to the shift registers. If you remember, the shift registers is just containers of one bit at a time for one byte. If I fill these up, they all have uh, one byte worth of information. This one goes to the PSG chip. This one goes to the FM chip. And these are little control bits that you, you need to tell the, uh, this FM chip that it's ready to receive information, it's ready to write information. Uh, you need to set the clock low or high. And it um, receives the information serially and then receives a, a latch command to send it all at once. These are oscillators. Uh, 3.5 megahertz for the PSD chip, 7.6 megahertz for the FM chip. And I, I told you earlier that the FM chip has the audio out, so does the PSD chip. They all mix into this uh, headphone jack. The bottom right is a little Arduino chip. The what the headphone jack looks like, a little EEPROM. That's the first prototype. 
This is the code that was necessary to interpret the uh, VGM data stream. Like when you encounter a, a command, let's say a 53 byte, that means it's going to write port 1 register, register AA, but write the next byte that's next to the 53 uh, byte. Um, all kinds of uh, resources uh, you can find online to help you understand what the chips are capable of. I went to Project 2612 to download all the VGM files I needed. SMS Power to get the VGM's file spec. Sprites Mind is a forum. Uh, it's an active forum where people actively create uh, Genesis programs or any technical questions or demos or music that, that people create nowadays. There's a Facebook group dedicated to the, y, uh, the FM chip. I thought that was pretty cool. I joined it. Uh, there are trackers available. Trackers are uh, music creation tools. These output VGM files. Um, it's popular. I think there's, there's a chiptune community that creates VGM files. There's multiple VGM uh, editors. There's one for the PSG chip, three channels, one square wave. Um, this is another uh, Genesis tracker. Uh, a little player. The, the Winamp plugin that I use came from chipamp.org. It uh, installs a plugin that lets you play back VGM files. And uh, I think that's it. I'll, I'll play back another VGM file of the circuit. You could hear. That's just a PSG chip, no FM. Someone made that for a chipping composition like two years ago. It's about uh, 20K. I didn't implement all the instructions, all the timing instructions correctly, so it's a little off. You can hot swap it. Last one. This is a song that someone created using those tracker software. It didn't come from a game. Okay. And that's it. That's my circuit. Self-contained. Thank you.